And this will be a 43-yard field goal attempt. And the kick is good. So after that kick, the score is now the Steelers, 13, the Vikings, nothing. James Ferrier was there for the stop. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. They'll take over at the 19-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Short throw to the right. And he's tackled at about the 29-yard line by Palamalu. That's a 10-yard gain. Second down and very short yardage here. Passes short right side. He's tackled right around the 32-yard line by Williams. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. They spot it at their own 32. He's dragged down on the play. The best time to blitz is when the other team is trying to work the ball down the field. Your quarterback's going to have to hold the ball a few seconds. Not enough time there. You can't try and go down the field consistently against this defense. They're going to come get you. Passes out to the left. He's brought down around the 44-yard line by Clark. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 44. They're going for the home run. He's dropped down right around the 16-yard line by Palamalu. And the big pickup through the air brings up a first down and 10. He's wrestled down right around the 16-yard line by Williams. They'll face second down and 10. The Rock on the 16-yard line. He's going to run with it. They make the tackle, but not before he gives the Vikings a first down and goal. It's first and goal, and the offense would love to get into the end zone to make this a game again. Scrambles for positive yards. Touchdown, Minnesota. Aren't many of those big, high-paid quarterbacks going to stick their head in there like that on that one? That was a nice play. Longwell tacks on the extra point. Minnesota is ready to kick this one off. Brown is back to receive the kick. And he gets the ball at the five. At the 30. And the tackle was made by number 41. The Steelers come out looking to get another scoring drive going here. They got three last time. Surveys the field. Fires a strike to the right. Finds room along the sideline. He's knocked out of bounds at the 34-yard line. So it's now first and 10 after the big pass play. Goes through his progression. Big yardage on the catch, and they'll push him out of bounds. And that was a huge gain through the air. There's nothing like a big pass play to spark an offense. You can see the enthusiasm now, not just in the quarterback and the receivers, but also in those big guys up front. He needs to get rid of it. And he's tackled at about the five-yard line by Abdullah. Just five yards away from a touchdown now. Looks for the safe short throw. He's tackled around the two-yard line by Abdullah. Looks like a gain of three. 
on the pass. A lot of times in that situation, they try to get the ball in the receiver's hands, hoping he'll make one guy miss and get away. That time, good tackle. They call on the field goal unit. It's up, and it's good. So that will make the score. The Steelers, 16. The Vikings, 7. Sean Schwiesel will be kicking off. Booker is deep, looking to return the kickoff. The Vikings got the ball into the end zone on their last possession. The stop was made by Emmanuel Sanders. The offense will take over at the 19. And we'll have a first down and 10. He's dropped, and that's a huge sack. Short pass to his left. He doesn't get back to the line. Looks to be a loss of about two on the play. That play was really all about defensive pursuit. They saw the ball thrown. They got there quickly for a loss on the play. Percy Harvin was the intended receiver. Well, the defense didn't get the sack, but they got the next best thing, and that was a bad throw. Brown will take off at the 38, and the tackle was made by D. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards. You never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. Rocklisberger gives it left. Chad Greenway was there to bring him down. So they'll face a second and ten. Good coverage downfield. Going deep toward the left sideline. Watch out! Touchdown! What are you going to do? How do you defend that? That's just perfectly executed between a hot quarterback and a pretty good receiver. Sean Schwiesel adds the extra point. Sean Schwiesel gets ready to kick it away. Booker stands back to field the kick. Good job there by the quarterback to fit that ball in there with good coverage. Yeah, and the defensive back didn't really do anything wrong there. The quarterback just made a good throw. We'll see if he starts to play him a bit more aggressively, maybe initiate some contact and get that receiver out of his comfort zone going forward. You know, listen, I would never want to block a defensive lineman. So, I, you know, I've seen these guys. I know these guys. They're big and they're nasty. But at least from an offensive standpoint, you have to try to get in their way. Ponder with the give. He's brought down at about the 19-yard line by Palamalu. Here they have a third down and 10 to go. Gets the ball. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just blowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. Brown will take off at the 38. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. We're looking for a man. It's now second down, 10 yards to go. Searching for an open man. Finds room along the sideline. He's knocked out of bounds at the 24. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try and get three points before the half ends. 
The kick is good. So the score now, the Steelers, 26, the Vikings, 7. Pittsburgh is just about ready to kick this one away. Booker is back to receive the kick. Number 48 fields it at the 35. Emmanuel Sanders was there for the stop. And we've come to halftime here. The score.